they will not go back to God, if they will not practice uh, the holiness, if they will not go back to their uh, to, to the life that God wants them to live in. So emotional in being a girl, of course, being so emotional in everything and experiencing, of course, God in every season. Abot abot ng mata mo, parang kahit ang layo layo niya ganon. Okay. Um, na nasabi ko na din yung ano, uh, masabi ko yung everlasting love kasi without ending siya ganun. Oh, sa garden kay <laughs> kay ko nga ako sa garden actually um uh, nakaka-unwind ako kag kumbaga nang nakaka-relax bala nga makatita ka sa mga flowers. Do you know that you have a purpose in this channel we declare I have a purpose thank you for all of you who have subscribed to my youtube channel for those of you who haven't yet subscribed please click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for you to be updated with our new video so our daily dose of encouragement is everlasting love so this very day is all about teaching Thursdays and we will be having questions for us to ponder and to just really think about but before that I would like to thank all my friends and especially those YouTube content creators who have been collaborating with us by uh, sending their videos and answering the questions thank you very much guys and if you who's listening to this you wanted to be part of it for our next episodes please contact us we will be putting it on the description below our social media links or just comment down there how could I contribute and we would really want for you to send us a video of what you think and uh, thank you very much guys so let's go straight to the questions that we have so the first question that we have here is sorry can you relate to the story so we have been talking about uh, Jeremiah 31 1 to 6 and um, it's really all about uh, if you were uh, uh, watching since last Monday, it's all about the Israelites been in the exile, and now here's Jeremiah. God is talking to him, and then he's speaking um, uh, words of life here and love. So, can you relate to the story? If uh, yes, just put your comments down below. So, what attitude was highlighted in the story? Actually, the attitude that was highlighted in the story is hopelessness, yet God has still spoken yes they were really hopeless they were an exile to another country which is babylon the israelites and it was really hopeless because they really wanted to be somebody and they were the promised people of god and now they're in exile so why did this story included in the bible to remind us of what <laughs> to remind us that the promise uh that God has for us is still available which is love <laughs> God's love is still available for us isn't that great so is this a story we could learn from will you learn from this me myself I'm just making these videos and yes I really learned a lot from this story next here how did this story gave hope to the readers um, I could say here it gave hope by showing to us that God has never put us aside or away. So if you are watching this and you think, oh my goodness, the Lord doesn't love me anymore, there's no hope for me, read the story again and you could say that there's really hope there because God didn't really put us aside or away. So the question is, did it really give hope to you? Yes or no did it really give hope to you yes or no leave your answers down there in the comments and i say it's it's yes for me it, it really helped me understand god's love for me so next is why is this story important why do you think why is this story important to remind ourselves that god is not yet done with us wow that's really great to know that god is not yet done with us he has plans for us plans to prosper us and not to harm us 
plans to give us what? A hope and a future. So, do you know of a similar situation? Maybe you will say, yeah, it's my situation now. I'm really hopeless. I feel like I don't know if anybody still loves me or cares for me. I'm doing this and that. So, do you, are you having a similar situation? So, hopefully you're gonna answer that and we would really want to hear from you in the comment section below. Or if that's too private and personal, you could message us on our Facebook uh, page account and uh, we would really want to hear from you. I'm with Lloyd here and uh, Lloyd Takulod. That's your name, and, uh, yes, and uh, my YouTube. Name. Please guys, subscribe to his YouTube channel. So, Lloyd, uh, for all those verses that you have read, yes. what uh, verse in particular uh, really speak to you, and uh, in what way? Uh, for me, Jeremiah three, verse three. Uh, that's thirty-one uh, verse three. No, thirty-one verse three. Yes. Before now, the Lord's. Uh, sa English to na binabasa ko. Before now, the Lord showed Himself to us. He said, I have loved you with a love that has no end. So I, I, as I, I am showing my love to you so that you will will move towards me. Uh, sa... Uh, ano ang masasabi ko lang dito? Ay, sorry. Ang masasabi ko lang dito is before God uh, uh, pakita sa mga Israelites before but today I believe na uh, nag, uh, hindi na natin siya nakikita pero nararamdaman natin yung presence niya yung mga uh, pina uh, parang bini uh, parang tinatouch niya sa buhay natin kung sa magsasalita tayo uh, doon naman sa tinutugoy na everlasting love uh, I believe na uh, sa akin na uh, pinapaniwalaan ko yun dahil uh, yun yung kaparamisan ng Lord sa noon hanggang ngayon uh, yun na yung everlasting love na kung mag-believe tayo sa kanya maniniwala tayo meron tayong uh, bini, may, bini, may bibigay si Lord na everlasting love na hindi ma compare sa dito sa mundo na kahit na yung pagmamahal ng tao is temporary lang yun yung pagmamahal ng Diyos is everlasting na walang walang ano walang hanggan na uh, love na bibigay niya sa atin Atin, yun lang Alright guys, so there you have it, Lloyd, and welcome yes. to the Daily Dose of Encouragement. Until next time, guys. God bless. God bless. best character in the story is God because God is faithful God forgiving God and God that is the same today yesterday and forever God is uh, forgiving God, merciful God, despite all righteousness, the people of Israel is the God um, lavish children and willing to um, forgive as long as the people, his people, will repent on their sins. Although they are stumble and fall, but Lord God forgives and. God is a uh, gracious God 
God is loving Father and His love is uh, unfathomable. Amen. Welcome back to our daily dose of encouragement and uh, we're talking about everlasting uh, love. No? And I'm back here again with Maya and uh, Angela. And now uh, we're going to ask them a question. Uh, is there hope in this story? Like we all know, like what I said in the introduction, this was all about the Israelites being in exile in Babylon. And um, maybe some of them are feeling that they are alone or nobody loves them. And I don't know if there's any hope in this, uh, in this story. What do you think? Well... There's always hope in this story because, you know, as we mentioned, God, that God chose uh, the Israelites, the people in Israel, and He showed He showed His love for them. And though they are in the exile, you know, He never forgets about them. Uh, he has His ways to protect them and to keep them safe from harm. And um, we see in the verses that we read that uh, His love is so everlasting. Uh, he never forgets about his people. He loved them with unconditionally, and yeah, uh, there's always hope in uh, the story. That's really good. How about you, Angela? Yung sa akin naman. Yung sa akin naman. Ah, merong talagang hope. Kaya kung baga nasabi dito sa verse three, the Lord appeared to us in the past. Wow. Saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. Therefore, I have drawn you with loving devotion. So, kung baga, uh, diri pa lang sa ginambal, sa ginoo, na kung baga, may ara, di dya hope sa iyaya, mm. nga which is, uh, dapat hindi kita mag-give up pala. Mm. Okay? Kailangan natin magsali dya po sa ginoo. Alright. So, there you have it, guys. How about you? Do, do you know? Do you think that there's hope in this story? Yes. You get all know in the comment section. This has comment been again, Pedro uh, Villanes, and with uh, Amaya and An An Angela here. And this has been a daily dose of encouragement. See you again tomorrow. Bye. So, there you have it, guys. This has been um, the um, Teaching Thursdays. And uh, <laughs> I'm just so. Uh, you know, Teaching Thursdays is quite emotional with me because it really goes into the, the heart of the story about, uh, you know, the, the hopelessness that the Israelites have and now they have hope already because God has promised them with an everlasting love. It's really great because me, myself, without the everlasting love of God, I don't know where would I be. Anyway, so thank you very much guys for those of you who have contributed. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my YouTube content creators, for my uh, people who are uh, ha uh, my friends on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Uh, people, thank you very much guys. So our question for today is, what teaching did you learn? Right? What teaching did you learn and why? We really wanted you guys to put it on the comment section below and uh, hopefully we could hear a lot from you guys and tomorrow we will be having Freedom Fridays and I'm so excited with it. So this has been your daily dose of encouragement which is everlasting love and this has been Pedro and join us as we declare, I have a purpose, God bless. who are not really good in being faithful to our God. We complain a lot. We think that we know it all. We think that we're so special. Someone from afar declared his love for you, declared his love for Israel. Actually, the, this passage has a touch of eternity. Jeremiah 31 3 says, I have loved you with an everlasting love.
I have crowned you with unfailing kindness. Basa mo talaga yung verse talaga. Magkakaroon ka ng wow! This is it. Parang ito yung pinakahintay nila na yung pa-promise ng Lord, yung love ng Lord. Grabe yeah. overflowing. Ganun. So, may aragi joy. Bala sa sa, sa muni nga nga verse. Mm -hmm. nga, which is nga uh, gahambal uh, si Jeremiah. Dari nga, kung baga kita tanan may pag-asa. Gid bala. Wow.